This video is part of a series of videos on how to use auto traffic. Be sure you start from the first video. The link to the playlist is in the description below. Let's move to the next chapter now. So I'm gonna hit um, escape to go back to the previous menu. We covered all of the stuff, authentication is running, apps. In the first version, you only had socket proxy and traffic. With this new version, I've added support for new apps, Portainer, Dozel or Dozel, Homepage, I might add, uh, you know, Homar or other applications at that some point, Uptime Kuma. Uptime Kuma is used for monitoring your services. I really like it. And I have a few other apps that I plan to add. So keep looking out for, uh, for announcements on my website or future videos. Um, I might even record just that part and add it as an uh, additional video to the same playlist. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, yeah, this would be a really good time to hit the thumbs up button because it really helps you to pick up my uh, videos and show it to new visitors. So if you really like it, give it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new, new videos are available on this topic or any other topic that I plan to share in future. So, but for now, let's go into Portainer and we're gonna um, uh, hit Portainer and you will see how easy it is to add Portainer to your setup. I'm also going to show you how to put Portainer behind Othelia. It's exactly the same process. So <clears throat> we're gonna do that just as soon as Portainer is done and running. That's it, done literally less than 30 seconds probably it's going to depend on on the speed of your hard drive but less than 30 seconds we're done so portainer on simplehomelab.com should be available right now let's go back to the apps menu and then now head over here and check portainer.simplehomelab.com okay you're going to see the registration link i'm just going to use dummy username and password and oh it has to be at least 12 characters okay now i am into portainer okay so let's <clears throat> i mean showing portainer is part not part of this guide so we're gonna head back in here just for the sake of it let's try one more um, maybe uptime kuma which is for monitoring so i'm gonna hit enter and the process is pretty much exactly the same as for Portainer. It's going to pull all the required um, uh, pack images and start building the application. And so let's wait for it to finish. The speed obviously again depends on your network and the hard drive. So I, my digital ocean um, droplet is on an SSD like most, um, most of them are. And so it's much, much faster. So almost done there so there you go waiting for uptime kuma it's done okay just a friendly reminder right here that um authentication may need to be enabled for uptime kuma but let's go back to my um to open a new tab and i'm gonna say uh, I'm I think I used uptime.simplehomelab.com uh, you can you can also see it right here uptime.simplehomelab.com so I think it might take a few there you go um, so it just takes a few moments for uptime kuma to start so that's why you weren't seeing now you are on the login page here so um, say on and on and on and then just Okay, password is too weak, okay. Just like Portainer. Okay, again, uh, password is too weak and it has to have at least one number. Okay, I'm just gonna create just something for dummy for now. There you have it, so you have Uptime Kuma. Okay, we have Portainer and Uptime Kuma running right now. These two apps are still using their native authentication. So we're going to see how to put these two apps behind Othelia. So let's head back to our authentication menu and go to option two, enable authentication for apps. 
Once again, it's going to cycle through the apps and ask you um, what authentication mechanism you want to use. So we see Portainer and it says right now it has no authentication, meaning it's still um, no authentication provided by traffic, but there is there may still be native authentication present, which is the which is the, which is the case. But we're gonna put Othelia behind or Portainer behind Othelia. Portainer, in my experience, does not work well with basic authentication, so don't don't try to do that. So right now, let's put it behind Othelia. So I'm gonna press OK. Next, it's asking. Um, what to do with traffic. Traffic is already on Othelia. I don't want to do anything right now so I'm just going to hit my tab key until I go to skip and I will skip that one. Uptime Kuma. No authentication right now. Native authentication may still be present. I'm going to choose Othelia and I'm going to set press enter. Now it shows Portainer is on Othelia, traffic is on Othelia, Uptime Kuma is on Othelia. It'll restart the whole stack and now if I go to my browser I think it might need some time to finish the whole process uh, I ignore the error that's because I stopped the container let's go to portainer.simplehomelab.com and I get Othelia screen and I should get the same when I go to uptime kuma um, yeah uptime kuma takes as you saw it takes a few moments to start and that's why it's failing when you usually see 404 it means that everything is working maybe just the app is not ready or failed or did not start or that's usually the case for 404 you could also have a wrong port number specified in docker labels i'm digressing from the scope of this guide right now but just to explain many reasons why you might see the 404 error so let's give it some time uh, it sometimes does take um, uh, uptime kuma does take some time um, so we now have both the apps behind othelia so we're good there so i'm gonna keep trying there you go so it takes a few moments and there we are so Optim kuma is ready we are now done with the authentication part of the script if you haven't liked the video or my channel yet please do so so i'm just starting out and every bit of support from people who watch the videos will really help me grow my channel it helps the youtube algorithm see that you find my videos valuable and I get more visits on my videos.